Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. It's the final cut, and I am Mark the Movie Man, and today we are going to take a look at Red Werewolf Hunter. Yes, Red Werewolf Hunter, starring the talented Felicia Day as Red, a.k.a. Virginia, who brings her fiancé, played by Kayvon Smith, uh, and they brings him up to the family abode to get to meet the family. Well, unfortunately, what he doesn't know is the family has a deep, deep, dark, dark, deep, dark secret. Yes, they are werewolf hunters. Well, when the truce that this family has with a local werewolf clan gets broken, the fiancé becomes an integral part in the events that unfold between the family and the werewolves as they battle it out. Folks, this is a fun, guilty pleasure. Okay, I watched it, honestly, just for Felicia Day. Big, kind of big fan, geeky fan for her. What do you expect, right? It's Felicia Day, right? Well, it was a surprisingly better movie than I thought it would be. No offense, but, uh, you know, it's got the sci-fi type uh, name uh, it worked into it so you know I kind of thought oh, kind of an asylum thing but it's not Red Werewolf uh, Hunter is actually done as a serious piece which was a surprising I figured they were going to go way tongue in cheek with it you know you know, a little way over exaggerated but they didn't they did this as just a, a normal complete monster film and I loved that part of it because we get so many movies nowadays that are trying to be genre niche type films you know, uh, but this one just is your standard old werewolf monster film. A nice twist with the hints of the Red Riding Hood story thrown into it, okay? Uh, it had that feel to it. So it was a great little alternate uh, uh, version or telling of the story. And I really like that idea of Red being a werewolf hunter, you know? And, and you've got some great performances in it, not only by Kevin uh, Smith, who you might remember as Deputy Andy for Eureka, but you've also got uh, Stephen McHattie in here as Gabriel, the head werewolf. And uh, he does a great job. He, he's got his own little twist on the whole lead werewolf, the alpha werewolf uh, character. So I liked his performance in it as well. The script, the dialogue was not overly cheesy. Like I said, there are some serious acting parts in here. And Felicia really takes full advantage of those scenes that she's in where she's doing the very serious kind of dialogue and uh, you know, performance. So I, I loved seeing that in her because we've, you know, seen some comical and lighter stuff. So seeing her do the actual uh, serious type of role, very, very pleasant to see. Plus the fact she's doing this badass, strong female character, which is also great to see in a film, okay? Now the special effects even weren't that bad. Uh, I, I like the werewolf effects. Yeah, most of it uh, was CGI, okay? But it was actually decent CGI. It didn't look too much like it was done on an Amiga or that it was too fake. Okay, like in Mega Piranha, say. Uh, so they, they did very well with those effects. There was a little bit of gore in there, which was a pleasant to see as well. A lot of gore in some scenes, but it was great to see that as well in a werewolf movie. Get, take a note, you know, werewolves, there's going to be gore. Thank you for having some gore in there as well, but not over-the-top gore as well. In general, Red Werewolf Hunter has a great production style to it, a feel of the old type of monster films, and in general, just an entertaining story and a good twist, alternate uh, telling of an old Red, Red, you know, Red Riding Hood story. Uh, so uh, definitely check it out if you're a Felicia Day fan or if you're just looking for something a little different, okay? I had to give it three and a half stubs. It's a very entertaining film. I was pleasantly surprised by the direction they took with it, and uh, I think you should check it out. It's from a couple years ago, definitely on the video now and uh, you should definitely uh, see it if you're looking for something different. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep the tickets up.